My mitochondria don't. My mitochondria don't. My mitochondria don't want none unless you've got oxygen. Aerobic respiration is really quite efficient. It makes a lot of ATP for cells and organisms. But for the process, you must have oxygen within it because your mitochondria has electrons to be given. It's in air, air, air. So if you breathe it, then oxygen is there. So if you eat it, then glucose you will tear. Glycolysis will break it, then the product share with mitochondria. By the way, these pervades, they break at the curve cycle mates. NAD, with an H, the protons will donate. We'll put them there, in the place, in the intermembrane space. Will they wait? High concentrate, power ATP. My mitochondria don't. My mitochondria don't. My mitochondria don't want none unless you've got oxygen. Oh my god. Look at that oxygen. Oh my god. Look at that oxygen. Oh my god. Look at that oxygen. Oh my god. It's aerobic respiration time. And remember the mitochondria is where this goes down. NADH, FADH, two will oxidize now. Their electrons leave them positive and pass down the chain where the oxygen accepts it and as an anion waits. But so much H, H, H. All these protons move to intermembrane space. You might even say that they're high concentrate. So they'll diffuse to power ATP synthase. Then join with oxygen. When each H gets to the place, the gamma subunit rotates. The energy this generates makes ATP phosphorylate. The ATP that this makes is a lot like 38. So it happened to those H's. H2O, cause oxygen My takes mitochondria it. don't. My mitochondria don't. My mitochondria don't want none unless you've got oxygen. Oh my god, look at that oxygen. It's accepting all of those electrons. Then it takes the influx of the protons. They bind to make water. Oxygen is awesome, huh? I got all this ATP. I got oxygen in my mitochondria. <laughs> Man, this energy is awesome. My 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 my